car is not starting. Reasons why your car does not start. If your car does not start even after you check the steering wheel and make sure you have gas, it could be due to one of the following. Sometimes it's your car security system that drops the engine from starting. If the immobilizer fails to recognize your key, then your engine will not start at all. When you find out that your car engine does not make an attempt to start, then it clearly indicates a problem with either the immobilizer or the smart key itself, or KFOP battery is low. Empty gas tank. You might feel a bit silly if this is the reason why your car is not starting, but it happens more often than you may think. When driving around all the time, it's sometimes easy to forget that your gas tank needs to be refilled. The solution here is simple. Get more gas. Fuel pump. Listen close and you should be able to hear the in-tank pump running for a few seconds when you first turn the K to the ON position. Noise of your in-tank pump will be approximately like this. Clogged fuel filter. A clogged fuel filter will prevent enough fuel from reaching the engine. A replacement is usually needed if this is the problem. Dead battery. A dead battery is the most common reason why a car will not start. If you have a battery tester, check your battery to see if it's weak. If you don't have one, try jump start your car with a jumper cable. Noise of your engine will be like this. Alternator. If the alternator is not up to par, your battery may not get charged. If the alternator fails or the belt breaks, you will more than likely get a warning light. If the charging system output is only poor, you may not get a warning light. An easy way to check it is to make sure it shows not less than minimum 13.6 oh, volts. The starter motor. The starter motor is responsible for physically turning the engine over and getting the engine to fire. If this is the issue, you will need a new one installed. Bed timing belt. The timing belt ensures the engine's valves open and close at the proper interval so the valves and the pistons never touch. Spark plugs. Secondary ignition system problems are rare nowadays. They can be the cause of your vehicle's inability to start. Bad ignition coil. The ignition coil transforms a battery's voltage into an electric spark. A damaged ignition coil means that there's not enough just to do that. System electronics. The electronic technologies can wreak havoc on your car's ability to start, even if there is the slightest tick in the system. These problems usually have to be looked on a computer and diagnosed.